Hi guys. So this tutorial is for kind of complex surfaces on your piece of wood that you've modeled, whether there's a knot in some areas, and some areas kind of seem less complicated, and how you can break them apart to potentially contour them in smaller segments and uh, get a little bit more resolution in certain areas while leaving the other with a larger increment of material contours. So for this exercise, I made uh, one with these two kind of twisty knot and then a kind of just a regular knot, while the rest seems less complicated. So the first part is we're going to break out the surface and try to trim it up into little box segments and try to get some more resolution out of our contouring. So first step I would do is if you have your top surface here, just explode out the bottom half and take it out. Next, I would go to your top view and make sure the top is in shaded so you can kind of pick out where the complexity is. And I just mark out with the box the areas that kind of hold more detail. Just using a curve uh, from your curve selection here. Next, I'd select the surface and hold in Control Shift S or type in split and split up that surface. There we are. Next, I'm just going to move these guys over. We'll go right back over to perspective and check out what we have here. Delete out the curves that we used to split. We don't need those anymore. So we can see that we can probably add a little bit more resolution through smaller increments of materials through here and here. And uh, the rest, we can actually just kind of keep it maybe a little thicker. So next I'm going to just extrude these surfaces down and then I'm going to create a plane where I'm going to be trimming them at. So just selecting these guys, I'll hold Control Shift S again and select my plane, split those guys up, delete my plane out, and I'm just going to type in CAP, C-A-P, there we are. So let's do the big half first, and you guys know this already. So just type in contour, and I'm going to slice this guy up. Oh, let's say, let's do it this way in eighth inch increments. There we are. I'm just going to simply move that guy over. And I'm going to hold control and hit G for group. So if I wanted to just select all those lines, I can really quickly. Next, I'm going to take this guy here. Let's do him. Actually, let's take him and contour him the opposite way to try to get a little teeny bit more resolution. This time, let's do 16th of an inch contours. Try to get, really get into that divot here. Uh, I'm going to group those, holding Control and G again. And I'm going to just move him over here. This one, let's do it a little bit funky, um, type in contour, and let's do an angled contour in this one. Still at 16th of an inch, so 0 0.0625 inches. There we go. A little funky. Hit group once again. So next I'm just going to move all these guys back to their original positions. Just gonna put these guys back where they belong with the curves in them. And let's just take all our poly surfaces that we created prior. Let's just move them all over together. Let's take a look what this model could potentially look like. Pretty cool. So let's just get a higher res look at what it could look like. So extrude curve, and since these were eighth of an inch, we can just do 0.1258, make sure they're solid, and hit enter. Oop. We'll do direction again. Okay, we'll delete out those curves. Let's go to our select tab and just hit new and group those guys again. Let's take these guys and extrude them as well. Looks like that got a little 
on a whack. That's fine though. Let's extrude those. Those were 0.265. Make sure they're all there. Select all our new stuff again. Click that one out. Looks like it over extruded. funky one. This one will be a little bit trickier, especially for orienting to a laser bed, but let's just extrude it in the direction it needs to be. Um, one thing we can do here is if we have our perp, which is perpendicular, snap on, we can hit direction and go perpendicular to it. And we can do this, hit enter again. That's what it'll look like. All right. And this is kind of a model that'll have a little bit more attention to detail as well as a little bit more interesting kind of features to it, especially at a larger scale like you guys are doing. And if we just kind of render it out a little teeny bit, you can actually see the model is a little bit more interesting than your just standard kind of cut in the same direction. And we get more detail into the knots.